It all started so simply. I had just finished my usual morning routine of nude funker size, fired up the Barca lounger, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and prepared to watch some serious tube. Little did I know, my snack was sent by Rez. Hey guys, I'm Greycast Angel, and welcome to my Let's Play of Gex. Gex was a side-scroller platformer from 1995. It was supposed to mark the heralding of a new mascot. Unfortunately, other than two sequels, which were both on the PS1, uh, but were fully 3D, eh, Gex the Gecko really didn't go anywhere. He was uh, kind of foul-mouthed, real, you know, uh, of a real, real joker and ultimately didn't go anywhere and it sucks because I kinda of find uh, Gex kinda of charming and I like him he could have been a good mascot um, but we're gonna play through his original game it looked interesting I've never played it and uh, let's hope I get through it But before we do anything uh, you'll notice that we can start the game there's some options and there's a password this game doesn't allow for saving um, you do get like little checkpoints but in order to progress where you've been you need a password. Ultimately, that means if you quit the game, you lose all of your uh, lives and extra stuff that you had gained up to that point. And since I'm not doing this all in one run, uh, we're going to be going with uh, the save states. Uh, I'm going to try my best not to abuse them, but uh, it's going to depend on how difficult this game is, which I don't think will be too difficult. I am sick of this loading. I want to get to my options. Okay, loading options. Uh, sounds fine, voice is fine, I don't really want to mess with any of that. Uh, the tongue lash, I'm simply going to change to O. Tail whip to square, obviously jump as X and run as R1. It's just more intuitive for me. Um, but that's your basic controls, you, you move with the D-pad. Um, this was before analog was available, so you can't use the analog. Um, or at least I can't, so let's keep going. Start. Time to teach someone some manners. The dome. Bob Hope has more color to enter a level, case. stand in front of a working TV and press the X button. Well, as you can see, there are what, one, two, three, four worlds. And the only one currently working is this one. So let's go. The cemetery. I really like that. That's kind of like an homage to Scooby Doo. Alright, now, from what I've played of the first couple levels, we can only go once again to TVs that have, you know, working elements, which is this one. So let's get going. Now, our mission in Frankie and Helly is to find but this place um, needs color. a TV remote. Finding that allows us to exit the level, as well as unlock more TVs in the levels that we're at, uh, specifically the cemetery. By tail uh, whipping these little question marks, we can learn stuff, so find level remote controls to turn on new level TVs. Pretty simple. As you can see in the top uh, portion of the screen, uh, we have a point system. We have three lives. Uh, we gotta collect um, little golden flies for points. Uh, every hundred, I believe, gives us a new life. And we currently only have three little health bars, uh, health meters. Um, tail whip can destroy blocks. We can eat um, stuff for power ups. Or we can smack them for health, like this is about to say. There we go. Tail whip, 
power balls for one health point or eat them for special power-ups. Um, I don't know what all they all of them do, but uh, we'll experiment. Um, we can climb on walls since we're a gecko. And as you can see, we can get some nifty uh, uh, flies. We can run with with uh, the R1 button. One for me and one for me. And we can kind of tail bounce to blow stuff up or to crush our enemies. I think the mechanic, yeah, hold down the run button to get extra speed, which helps us with these long jumps. I think it's awesome to see, um, you know, the abilities of a gecko being uh, fully utilized for this. Those hurt, obviously we can slide, get with. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Obviously things will hurt you. Those TVs explode once you knock them down, so we gotta be careful of those. And I know that I can jump up there and go down here, because I've played this level a few times. So I know that there's a secret level here. And to enter and exit secret levels like this, you press up. I know when I'm not wanted. Yeah. I know that you gotta get good speed on this in order to get up there. There we go. That gives us an extra health, which would have probably given us an extra life had we uh, swallowed it. Now, I don't know where all these things are in you know, some of the later levels other than the ones I've played. So I'm going to try to do my best to find some, but I can't promise to uh, locate everything. There, now we have another life. Tail whip cameras to take a snapshot of your progress. If you die, you can start over from there. They are a godsend. See, that thing's gonna explode. Kaboom. And although I don't think this level has any, we must be aware of water. For some odd reason, our gecko cannot swim. Now I am working my way kind of backwards here. Ah, I knew I was going to hit that. I think we've already come this way. Yep. Alright, nothing new here. Haha. -ha. Spikes kill you, or I think they only hurt you. But they can kill you if you're left un, you know, untreated here. This is another secret area. Uh, I could have. I, I was so on that. That's it. That's a spot. I did find uh, some of Gex's one liners to kind of get repetitive. So, I'm going to try to do these levels as quickly as possible, but also as efficiently as possible. Go into the light! Go into the light. I'm pretty sure there's something up here. Yep. Damn it. I know there's a secret here.
Oh yeah, this is the bonus stage. We gotta it's start. Use the skulls to kill Frankie. Get it? Eh. I get nothing. I find that the timing of hitting those skulls are pretty difficult. Alright, now I know I can just jump down there and get the remote which we just grabbed, which you didn't see. Pull down while jumping to a tail bounce on enemies or blocks. Hold the jump button hold the jump button and push up afterwards for a super spring. I know there's something this way. Is there anything up here I missed? Yeah, we already came that way. Okay. This level's pretty small in comparison to some of the other ones. A power up. I'm going to eat it. Get another life. I don't want to waste those on healing myself. That doesn't do much. Jump and push up to stick to wall surfaces. I'll get away from there. And now that I'm thinking about it, I should really uh, save. Which uh, should have given me a save state. And let's test this out. Yep. Save states work. Woohoo. Since I, I'm going to try to do that every time I hit a checkpoint. A particularly tough area. Ah, uh, I don't want to get hit by that. I think they disappear if you go off screen. Now water will kill. So how do we get past this? We climb to surfaces. Just like a gecko. Which, like I said, I really, really enjoyed the, the attention to realism that they did with Gex here. I don't think there's anything I can do up there. If there is, I simply didn't find it. Stand in front of the t exit TV and press up to exit the level, which we I'm pretty sure we can only do once we have the TV remote. So we are done. Let's go back to the cemetery. Me of Ed 7,750 points, and we got a remote. I mean, we didn't do as well as we could have, but eh, can't complain for the first level. To turn on a TV, press select. Let me uh, use the D-pad to choose a remote and press the X button to use it. If it belongs to a TV in this world, the TV will turn on. Well, let's try that. We gotta wait for it to load, and what do you know, we have our next level. We have to find a TV remote in the Grave Danger level. I'm not in Kansas anymore. Now I think that thing turns. No, it keeps going. Okay. Well, we're gonna save and keep going. I know I can hit that. I know I can hit that. Oh well. Uh, hyper jump. Ha. Now this one's interesting. Now, since I've played this, I know about this. Those things will fall. So you gotta keep an eye. Like once you like land on them, they fall. But you also can jump on those coffins. Ha! Bitch slap that TV. This would be great for my collection. This one's hard to hit if you're not careful. Need it, need it, need it, need it. All right. 
I'll take this and this and this. It's tail time. That one's kind of hard if you're not. You, you can actually lay down there and smack him like that. It's tail time. Sorry, Mr. Presley. One of these things, yep, this one should give me fire. Whenever I use my tail or my, my tongue. There should be two more of those guys. Suckers. Taste my spit of fire. I know there's something up there we can get. A good thing about Gex is that there isn't a time limit per level. That would just, like, stress you out. I have no idea how to get up there. Secret level, let's take it. Now these... Every time you switch one... Aha. Nailed that one. You can also take a... Eh, don't wanna fall. Uh, you can also tongue lick the uh, the golden flies. Now these little switches, like I f was trying to say, um, I didn't want to do that. Um, those golden f golden f I lost my train of thought. The camera things will, as you can see, they'll make things disappear or reappear. As you can see, there's no way of uh, surviving. We fell down there right now, but what we can do is tail whip that. And now we have... Come on, hit it. There we go. And now we have a little platform to land on. Alright, let's, uh, let's eat that. Now, I know there's a way to get there, but I just don't care enough to find out. So let's exit this bonus. There's some way of getting up there. But we're not going to take the time to figure that out. Kill that one. Keep building our lives. To be honest, I don't even know if there is a halfway mark in here. I guess there it is. And that means we're gonna save our state. that one. I'm pretty sure that's going to fall. Oh, I guess not. Alright. Ooh. Jump. I like that. This ability. That falls. I knew that much. I want that. We still have to find that TV remote, don't we? Sorry, Mr. Presley. Alright, up we go. I'm trying to... I want that stupid... There we go. Here, no way, we already found the halfway mark. 
What am I? Ooh, that was close. We need the TV remote. And we need to go back and find some of that area back there. Alright, there should be another one. I guess not. I'll take this and this ah. and this. Yeah. I lost my bot. Oh, I didn't lose my power up. I just lost some life, didn't I? Here. There we go. Kill that. Jump over that. Need it, need it, need it, need it. This one's kind of like a timing one. One for me and one for me. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, cool. I think we're getting pretty close to the end here. Kill that one. There. I'm sure there's something to. It's tail time. Who opened the can of whoop ass? I guess there was nothing else there. Okay. I know there's other stuff in this level, but we are done for this. For this purposes of the LP. Some extra Kill lives. your TV, man. But we're sitting at thirty-five thousand. Not bad. Like the slime boys. Nice touch. Found another remote, and you'll notice that once we defeat a level, it is no longer accessible to us. So let's open the next TV. We're going to save. And we're coming up on 23 minutes, so let's let's see how far we can get. We need to find a T remote in the tomato soup level. This reminds me of Most of these levels will have sort of like uh, puns on what kind of enemies we'll fight, like what we're about to find in this level. Giant tomatoes! Find a videotape and you will receive a password when you beat the level. It's tail time! I hate these things so much because they jump like around. Andy. Makes precise, precisely hitting them kind of a pain in the ass. Ah, I forgot I didn't have. I hate those things. I forgot that I didn't have my thing. So let's heal ourselves. What sucks is you can't really see what you're coming up on in terms of beneath you. Ah, my fire power up. One for me and one for me. Take care of that, you son of a bitch. Ah! There goes my power up. Safe since we're at the halfway mark. Need it, need it, need it, need it. Ah, hoo hoo. Hoo hoo, that was a close one. Beat me. I 
love that fire ability. Simply awesome. I don't think there's a way to get back over there. Fortunately. Alright, son of a bitch. I hate those gargoyle things. Alright, I thought there was some secret there. Alright, more of this. Cargo will suck no matter what place you find them in. Come here. Ooh, that's unfair. Yeah. I know that there's some flies down here. Da -da -da -da. She could like super run up this stuff. I think that'd be cool. It gives us some extra areas. That's a spot. One for me and one for me. I want my power up. No, I want to go. There we go. Alright. I wish I knew how to get that. Don't know how. Hoo hoo, almost got chopped my head off of that. I hate these little tricks where the, you think you're safe and in actuality you aren't. I'm working without a net here. I don't want to get down there. Super speed. Oh, God. Ugh. Load from our save. Need it, need it, need it, need it. Not gonna fall for that need again. Me. Who hated this thing? This time I'm not gonna let myself die. Oh, that has to oh that's not fair. Not fair. Yeah, one out. I know where you're gonna be. Yeah, gotcha. Let's get these over here. Health back. The music, the music in in Gex is pretty catchy, I'd say. Okay, is there anything? Yeah, I knew there was some golden flies. I know there's a way to get up there. Hoo hoo. Not not fun. That's my love. There's another halfway point, so we are going to save, save, save. Yeah, I'm not going to fall for that in, like so many times before. Me. Keep falling to your deaths, tomatoes. TV remote. We'll save just because we got that. Ooh, that is so devious. Now, obviously, this that's is it, safe. That's a spot. It's tail time. Okay, maybe not. It's tail time. I'll just get my health that's back. It, that's a spot. Let me 
gonna eat that for... I guess we don't get another health then with that one. I know there's probably gonna be a damn gargoyle on this. That for 12 years a full house! Huh! That is pretty damn clever, Gex. I like what you did there. Now I know this has to be like a save point. Oh, you think there'd be like a one for me? And one of those uh, hidden areas. We got a videotape. So we can finish the level. Reminds me of Ed tapping his birthday keg. Alright, so the password to uh, kind of return to this area is SVZFKHGP. We're not going to need to know that, but it's good to have it. We're going to unlock the next level. I'm going to save it, and I will see you guys here next time.